A lot of people like to ask me lots of questions about individual problems. My horse bites me or my horse kicks me or can't catch my horse or he won't stand still for the farrier or he rears or he jigs on the trail. And I understand people's concern. These are legitimate problems for them, their horse, their safety, well-being, etc. And one of the hardest things that I've had to try to get across to people in the horse industry that follow my method or will try to follow my method is that all of those things are really just symptoms of a cause. Every problem you could ever tell me either comes from a lack of respect or fear. And on the odd occasion, maybe both. But typically it's either disrespectfulness or fearfulness. Let me give you an example. My horse bites me. Is biting a problem? Sure, it's a problem. But he's really biting you because he has a lack of respect. Once you get the horse respectful, moving his feet forwards, backwards, left and right, he won't want to bite you anymore. So is biting the problem or lack of respect the problem? In my opinion, the lack of respect is why the biting is showing up. Okay. Another example might be my horse bucks with the saddle, Clinton. Every time I saddle him up, he bucks with the saddle. Well, he's bucking with the saddle because he feels fear around the saddle. He feels trapped and claustrophobic around his belly. So when we get him desensitized to the front and back cinch and desensitize him to wearing the saddle, that fear disappears. Once we get rid of the fear of the saddle, he no longer wants to buck with the saddle. So bucking disappears. So is bucking the problem or fear the problem? In that case, I'd say it's the fear is the problem. Every once in a while, you'll come across a horse that is disrespectful and fearful all in the same combination. It's rare, but it does happen. My method is all about getting the horse to be respectful. We do that by moving his feet forwards, backwards, left and right. Getting rid of the horse's fear. We do that by desensitizing the horse to us and our tools by the desensitizing exercises. When people want to address individual problems, I keep trying to tell them just address the method. Start the method, period. When you start the method, your horse will rat himself out. If it's lack of respect, why the problem's there, you'll fix it by moving his feet forwards, backwards, left and right. If his issues are coming from fear-based problems, you'll once you desensitize him and get the fear out of him with you and your tools, stick, rope, string, you, okay? plastic bag, those problems will disappear. I've always tried to tell people, look at a, a, a problems with a horse like a problem tree. We get an old oak tree. Every branch of this tree is a, is a problem, ready? Bucking, rearing, biting, spooking, won't stand still for the farrier, you can't give him a vaccination, cribs, won't trailer load, weaves in the trailer, okay? Every branch on this tree is a problem. But if you just chop off the branch, eventually the branch will grow back again. The, the best way to get every branch on this tree to fall off and be dead forever is kill the root system of the tree. When you kill the tree root system, all those branches will die and, and fall off that tree. That's what I kind of think the down under horsemanship method is. When you kill the root system of your problem horse, all these problems just disappear by themselves. And it's a hard thing to get across to people because people are so focused on what the problem is, the rearing. He's rearing, Clinton. How do I get him to stop rearing? Because rearing's very obvious that that's a problem, that's where they think the problem really is. So you've got to be a little bit of a detective. The good news is you don't have to be too smart because if you just follow the method, it will actually fix itself. The horse will rat itself out. The horse will end up fixing itself if you'll just follow through each of the exercises. And I know I sound like a broken record, but it's something that I want people to really understand is that if you'll just go back and start from the beginning and follow the method step by step, your horse's problems will disappear. You'll be more successful with your horse. You'll have more confidence with your horse. Your horse will be more confident with you. It's really as simple as it gets. Just follow the method.